Hello, my name's Mr Maths, and today we're going to be talking about inverse operations. You get to hear me now. If you get to hear me now. It sounds very complicated, but actually the, the concept isn't that tricky. So, let's start with a simple maths problem. 2 plus 3 equals 5. Now the inverse is what is the opposite of plus. What's the opposite of plus? So the inverse of this sum would be, and the way I like to do it, is I like to switch it round and write it in back in reverse. 5 minus 3 equals 2 because the inverse of addition is subtraction. Okay? This can be very handy when we're going to be solving some, some simple division problems, especially if we know our times table. Let's just do one more to make sure we understand that an inverse operation is the reverse, and the, the reverse of addition is subtraction. So, let's do 7 plus 3 equals 10. Okay, so that's, as you may recognise that as a number bond, the number bond of 10, 7 and 3. So the inverse, or reverse, I like to reverse it. I just put an arrow there, and I put my 10 here. 10 minus, I put the minus in the place of the equals, 3 and then that would equal 7. So we've done the reverse operation, or they call it inverse, but it, I, I like to think of it as reverse. Okay, so let's do this with multiplication. And the inverse of multiplication, yes, you've guessed it, it's division. Okay, so let's put, give ourselves a multiplication problem, 3 times 2 equals 6. Okay, so if the inverse of multiplication is division, we just switch it round like this. So I put 6, and then here I put divided by 2 equals 3. So we just reverse the whole problem to get the inverse operation of it. Okay, let's do another one. And I'll, show, I'll give you an example of how handy this can be when we're doing our division of numbers. Okay. 7 times 3 equals 21. So let's reverse it. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. See, this is why knowing your time table is quite important and it can really help you um, answer these quick division questions by just knowing what that inverse is. Because I always think, think of it as I'll show you. inverse operation. So if we put one down, so let's say 81 divided by 9 equals question mark. Now if we look at it, I'll put once again, I'll put multiplication is the inverse of the division there. If we look at it from a reverse, I, th I, I actually like to think of it as something times 9 equals 81. So, and if you know your times table, it's 9 times 9 equals 81. 
So 81 divided by 9 equals 9. So whenever I see a multiplication problem like this, I think something times 9 equals 81. It doesn't always work when we have um, um, remainders or things like that, but if you know your times table and you recognize these, you get to recognize these numbers, these division problems can be conceptualized as multiplication problems. Something times 9 equals 81. So that's inverse operations. I've been Mr. Maths. Thank you very much.